Here you go, Gaden. Think you'll find this one funny. It's a F-250. Little key damage there, up and down. Mm-hmm. My buddy Gaden went out to the mall this weekend and somebody keyed the shit out of his truck and he just couldn't believe it. They're really nice people. Wouldn't hurt a fly. And uh, couldn't believe that somebody would still do that in this day and age. And there you go. And the funny thing about this little video is if you go check out my favorites, you'll see a video that I saw this morning that I thought was hilarious. It was uh, a guy and his family were parked in their diesel truck and some lady attacked them in a Prius. And uh, it's in my favorites. You guys go check it out. It's, it's totally hilarious. But uh, let's go ahead and blow a little paint on this and make this uh, not look keyed. Got this back taped off at the line. Just in and out. Right at about 100 degrees in here, so this is uh, no flash time required. I think it's like 40% uh, humidity. No, 55, almost 60% on the humidity, so. So this should go pretty quick. We'll go back to back. We'll put one coat of uh, high solid clear on this one. silent air compressor that'd be nice so anyway we'll let that set up a little bit we're gonna hammer one more coat on there and uh, we're using the uh, developers plus no yeah no we're using the GTI we just put it back together that's the HVLP model and uh, we'll use the base with that and then we'll use this cola HVLP on the clear Mm-hmm. So I hope everybody's doing good today. And uh, stuff like that, you know. 
I haven't been inside too much. I've been uh, running kids around, stuff like that, summertime, so it's always something to do with the kids. Pretty careful with it, and you want to pull it off when it clears away. Of course, this is your personal truck. I'd recommend, you know, like uh, priming that spot down, but didn't break through the sealer. And uh, just a quick in and out. It's a buddy of mine's work truck, and uh, he didn't want to look at it every time he opened the door, so. But he can only be without the truck for a couple hours, so. So this is where we're at, you know? Looks a little better than it did, but it isn't gonna be perfect, so. Go ahead and let that set up and we'll mix them uh, clear up next. Blow one more coat of base on that. It is super hot today, man. Summertime in Florida. One. We're going to be using the, uh, some silver sail on this one. Yep. buck after it catalyzes and once it's a buck you can throw it away. It's usually the only thing that's left over is clear or primer. So it's pretty hot. It's uh it's about 90 degrees in here. We'll go with some uh medium medium hardener or slow. Go with some slow. reducer in that. As long as you don't get carried away, the dieback's not too bad. I've been up to 10% and had really good luck. Since 
you want with the slow, we'll put a half a cap of accelerator in there just to kick it off so it gets out of the dust. Accelerator is always a good thing to have around. You can't put that in your primer and your clear. It's universal. Anything that's your thing, you can accelerate. I do know that HBR watches my videos, and I did want to mention one thing. I saw them using the uh, Lemco reducer. And uh, just keep in mind the Lemco reducer is a, a polyester based paint line, and your PPG stuff that you use is urethane. So uh, those are two items that I know aren't compatible. You can have some issues if you mix those two items. So be sure if you put that reducer in your paint, uh, be careful. You could have serious issues. For cleaning your gun, it'll be okay, but uh, you don't want to use a polyester reducer and a urethane base, or vice versa. Now you can take and put urethane base or urethane reducer in polyester base if you're going to clear it with urethane clear. But you're getting into the chemistry thing there. So we won't have that issue. <clears throat> so it's actually cooled down to about 98 in here, 90, uh, about 93, 94, according to that. Must be a cloud moving over. It's getting about that time during the day where we get a rainstorm every day. But uh, yeah, so I got Gaden struck. Uh, it's probably going to come next week. I think we'll fix that before the race. Uh, Somebody keyed the passenger side on that, so he'll like this video. Caden, of course, on your truck, you know, we'll pull the handles out and pull everything, detrim it, like I talked about. But uh, some people just don't like that kind, you know, and uh, they're in a hurry. And uh, I understand it. When you got a small business, you got to keep on the move. So this is my uh, pool guy here. So I try to take care of. Uh, Everybody I need to keep my house running when I'm broke. So, you know what I mean? Keeps me in chlorine. So, I'm looking to get a new photo cell for my saltwater pool. I got a saltwater pool that I'm putting chlorine in right now because my uh, cell went bad that makes the uh, chlorine. So, those things don't take much uh, lightning strikes. You know, I had a lightning strike hit in the backyard and it blew the photo cell up. But uh, the pump and everything still works. So, Right now, just having to put the chlorine in there myself and uh, instead of the salt deal. 
All right, let's go see what we got there. Looks pretty flashed off. It's extremely hot. Ideal painting weather is about 70 degrees and we're about uh, 20 degrees on top of that. At least we're not dealing with 100% humidity today. We'll give that base a little longer to kick off and then we'll go ahead and hammer a coat of clear on there. You go one coat of the high solid or you can go two coats of the medium solid however you want to do it uh, you know you got a bigger investment when you buy the high solid kit of course but it does stretch a lot further and uh, you know that when a nice job does come in you have the ability of uh, putting some clear on there that has some uh, mills per coat usually the more expensive better clear has more of the UV protection and uh, stuff like that in it also so I know a lot of you guys have used the uh, silver sail in the garage and uh, it's pretty reasonably priced and it's a decent clear. And uh, I know there's some other guys that are making some mortars this week and I really appreciate it. You know, it's been a little tight. And uh, I know Jerry bought some stuff, bought some paint guns and stuff and I really appreciate that. Uh, Uncle Jerry there in uh, Canada. And uh, I think Jeb's chance is getting some stuff and uh, I think y'all Hooven was talking to Andrea also. So I really appreciate the business guys that uh, helps Andrea a lot, you know? And uh, I tried to uh, push the matrix at first, you know, when I first started making videos, I didn't mention it much. And uh, I did get their permission to uh, talk about it and show the products on my channel. And uh, I've always had really good luck with the product and uh, been using it since the 80s when they just used to make primers and clears and uh, the company's involved into making their own toners and they have a water line, a solvent free line, a low solvent. Uh, so they're, they're quite a good little company now to work with. And uh, I don't try to sell it as much anymore because a lot of you guys turn the TV on and you see it on every uh, automotive show out there pretty much it seems like. so. You got counting cars that's using it now and then you got uh rick at the restoration shop they're using it and they haven't gone full blown but they always show a matrix product on that show now if you noticed so uh it's a pretty decent product a lot of you guys that have tried it know that now so uh great warranty great company too man they're very available all right guys let's go ahead and hammer some clear down on this
There you go, one coat. Alright guys, I'm going to turn you off. It's a little cloudy in here. <laughs>